Hey guys, this is adding integer standard algorithm. My learning target is I can represent integer operations with concrete models and connect the actions with the models to the standard algorithms. So this is the adding that you are used to the standard algorithm. And now we are just going to include integers, which is positive and negative numbers. So with adding integers, if you have the same signs, that's either both positive or both negative, you are going to add the numbers and keep the signs. So if they're both positive, your answer is gonna be positive. If they're both negative, your answer is gonna be negative. If you have different signs, you are going to subtract you're going to subtract the absolute values of the numbers and take the sign of the higher absolute value or greater absolute value All right, so number one says 25 plus 100. We have the same sign and they're both positive. So our answer is going to be positive. So 100 plus 25 is 125. All right, number two. We have the same sign, and our answer is going to be negative. So we are going to add the absolute values and keep the sign. So I have negative 81. All right, number three. So we have different signs this time. So we are going to subtract and we are going to take the sign of the greater absolute value. So in this case, my greater absolute value is going to be 67. So my answer is going to be negative. So I'm going to subtract the numbers. So my answer is going to be negative 33. All right, number four, we have different signs. So we are going to subtract. We take the sign of the higher absolute value, which in this case is positive because 78 is positive. So we are going to subtract the absolute values. We have positive 66 is our answer. Number five, negative 21 plus negative 91. So we have same sign. So we are going to add and keep the sign, which is negative. We're going to add, add the absolute values. and keep the negative sign, so my answer is 112, negative 112. Number six, we have different signs. So we are gonna subtract the absolute values and take the sign of the greater absolute value, which is 17, so my answer is going to be negative. So we are going to do 17 minus 5, which is 12, and then we are going to have it be negative 12. Okay, number 7, we have the same sign. 
So we are going to add and our sign of our numbers is positive. So 34 plus 43, positive 77. Number eight, we have same signs, which is negative. So our answer is going to be negative. So we're going to add the absolute values. It's going to be negative 98. Number nine, the Arctic Ocean temperature averages about negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit. During a particular hot summer day, the temperature of the ocean raised five degrees Fahrenheit. What is the current temperature? So we have negative 10 and then it went up five degrees. So we are adding five degrees. We have different signs, which means we are going to subtract the absolute values and our answer is going to be follow the sign of the high, um, the greater absolute value, which in this case is 10. So our answer is going to be negative. So we are going to subtract 10 minus 5, which is 5, and then it's going to be negative. So negative 5 degrees Fahrenheit. Number 10, Kevin graduated college with $25,000 in debt. So this means that he owes money in debt. So this is going to be represented by a negative number. He worked as a police officer for five years and was offered $10,000 in loans, loan forgiveness. Write an integer to represent the money Kevin has. So he gained 17000 So this is positive. So I have negative 25000 plus 17,000. So we have different signs, which means we are going to subtract and take the sign of the greater absolute value, which in this case is 25,000. So our answer is going to be negative. So we are going to subtract the absolute values. So we have 8,000 and then we're going to have negative $8,000. So he still owes $8,000. Right, number 11. The Watsons are moving to a new house in a week. They packed 26 boxes Monday, 12 boxes on Wednesday, and 12 boxes on Friday. How many boxes did they pack? So we are finding the total, so we are just adding these numbers, 26 plus 12 plus 12. They're all the same sign, so we are going to add them, and then they're all positive numbers, so our answer is going to be positive. So they packed a total of 50 boxes. Number 12, Katie ordered candles for her friends online with her special membership. She bought a candle that was $12, $15, and $11. Write an integer that represents how much money Katie's friends owe her. So that means we're in debt. It's a negative number. So we have the first friend owes 12. The second owes 15. The third owes 11. So we have same sign, so we're going to add the absolute values, and then our sign of our answer is going to be negative. So 12, 15, 11, we're going to add all those. So that means that her friends owe a total of $38 to Katie. Thanks for watching.